guys this is ashley back with another video before we get into the video like comment and subscribe to the channel so let's start off with lil nas x and the baby because in his gq interview he said that he feels bad for the baby and he hopes that he grows from the situation um so basically lil nas x has a soft spot for his ex lover allegedly Okay, because I believe that the baby and Lil Nas X definitely were messing around. And that's why he's been very mute about the situation. Okay, because, you know, another magazine asked him about it and he said no comment. And then even the new video that he's premiering in a couple days, I don't know the exact date. You know, the storyline is that he was messing with a guy that had a family and he finds out when he goes visit the guy that you know he has a girl and a child and that's why you know they're going on the maury show so i do believe that the baby and Lil Nas x were messing around and that's what i've heard okay and that's probably why danny lay is the side chick and mimi is one of them charlotte hoes like danny lay said Who's the main? Could it be Lil Nas X? You never know. Now, do I feel like Lil Nas X um, will ever admit to messing with the baby? I feel like he's going to try to protect the baby as long as the baby doesn't say anything about Lil Nas X. Okay? If anybody ever asks him about Lil Nas X and he says some foul shit, then I feel like Lil Nas X could possibly expose him. But if he keeps it cute and keeps it mute, I feel like Lil Nas X will play his game. I mean, Lil Nas X is basically the male version of Danny Lay. Okay, they always got a soft spot for the N-word that does them wrong. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. Do you guys feel bad for the baby? I don't really feel bad for the baby. I feel like the baby... He's kind of narcissistic, okay? He has no remorse for what he does to people. And I feel like he needs to learn a lesson. Like, why do you treat people so badly? I mean, you treat Mimi badly. You treat Danny Lay badly. You treat Lil Nas X badly. When is he going to be accountable for his actions? On top of that, you know, he was smacking chicks. Nobody held him accountable for that. For when he was smacking chicks. Okay. Um, also, I heard that um, the baby was doing all of this stuff on live for promotion for his album. He purposely embarrassed Danny Lay because he wanted publicity to promote his album. Okay. Um, yes, he don't really mess with Danny Lay right now. He is trying to get rid of her, but he didn't have to go on live and embarrass her. He did that strategically so that, you know, the black women can see that he don't really mess with Danny Lay, who isn't black. Moving on to Dolce Cat, it looks like she is in a sucky contract because she has been getting her production credits stolen by Dr. Luke. OK, now, I guess, according to this thread I saw on Twitter, She's under his label and he hasn't been giving her the credit that she deserves because she's been making her own beats. He also is in a lawsuit with Kesha because she did not finish out, you know, her contract for obvious reasons. And so he's in a lawsuit with her. Now, Doja Cat allegedly signed to Dr. Luke when she was 17 so that's why her contract may not be what she wanted it to be but she just did it for the opportunity but then the whole um thing came out about him and kesha and people were wondering why she's still working with him well she has no choice and he's been stealing production credits from her okay he had no input in planet her allegedly and he still is getting paid off of it. And allegedly, he did the same thing to Kelly Clarkson. 
Now, there are a few producers that are suing him. But Dr. Luke has been getting away with stuff for years now. I mean, it's gotten really, really bad. Now, if you're wondering how Dolce Cat is going to be able to get out of this, well, she won't be able to get out of this completely because she signed her contract. Whether she was 17 or not, you know, she still signed it, okay? Um, you know, maybe her parents didn't look over her contract. And a lot of these artists are in sucky contracts. It's, you know, it is what it is. Um, even Summer Walker, I know she came out and denied being in a sucky contract, but I don't really believe her. I think she did that because she didn't want to be embarrassed. Because how is London on the track getting credits for songs that he had no involvement with and you just finding out she went off on the shade room talking about that so i don't really believe that her contract is that great either i just think she didn't want to piss off her label but back to doja cat um a lot of people are saying behind the scenes that she's not too happy about this but there's really nothing she can do and that's why a few months ago she was tweeting that she was over this and you know she wasn't really happy with the album it had a lot to do with dr luke um but they don't want this story out okay notice how nobody's really talking about this because you know for whatever reason certain people have been protecting dr luke even though he's been doing a lot of different artists dirty and we also know what happened to um kesha but let me know what you guys think about this. I do feel bad for Dolja Cat, um, but she did sign the contract. I know she signed it when she was like 17 because allegedly the contract was made when she was um, around 2013. So she had to be like 17, 16. But, you know, she should have gotten a lawyer and maybe had a parent with her. Okay. But let me know what you guys think about this. Um, this is very interesting. Watch a lot of people not talk about this. So let me know. Moving on to Quayla Ray, Tanaje, and Jojo. Because there's a debate going on Twitter. Now, Jojo asked if um, it's smart for labels to try to have their artists go viral. Tanaje responded and said, no, it's pure laziness. And then Quayla Ray said there's a difference between going viral on TikTok and paid advertising. OK, basically saying paid advertising is laziness. Now, in my opinion, I feel like it is lazy for people to try to use TikTok to go viral only because you're trying to persuade the audience into thinking the song is hot just because it has a dance to it. OK, that's just my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, a Coyle Ray, she's a little sensitive because people keep calling her a TikTok artist, which she is. And I do not believe that Quayla Ray is talented. But that is just my opinion, okay? As for Tanaje, you know, she's not really a TikTok artist. She does everything by herself right now because she's independent. So she's probably um, a little annoyed that people are blowing up and they don't have the same talent as her, okay? And Jojo probably feels the same way. But let me know what you guys think about this situation. Is it lazy for people to try to go viral on TikTok? Um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.